Behold, the perfect American woman. Isn't she a beauty? She is... Wait, is she a woman? I, I, I can't quite tell. Are you, um... <clears throat> Are you a woman? But how do we know? Ah, much better, thank you. Behold, the perfect American woman. Isn't she a beauty? She is kind, she is polite, she is reserved. She is... Uh, yes, what is it? You're not reserved? You're not polite? Ah, I see, um... Uh, thank you for coming in, but we need a woman who is polite and reserved. A, um, a real woman. <sighs> yes, that's very nice. Thank you. Right. Behold, the perfect American woman. Isn't she a beauty? She is kind. She is polite. She is reserved. She is the epitome of womanhood. Ever since she was a little girl, doll in hand and dress blowing in the wind, she has dreamed... Yes, is, is there something wrong? Are you telling me that you didn't play with dolls and wear dresses when you were a little girl? Preposterous! You played with those! What, did you think you were going to be an engineer? What a laughable concept. You are a funny one, but, um, women can't be funny. Can we get another woman, please? Thank you. Splendid. Uh, where was I? Perfect American woman. Isn't she a beauty? Kind, polite, reserved. Check, check, check. Uh, ah, yes, here we are. <clears throat> Ever since she was a little girl, doll in hand, dressed blowing in the wind, she has dreamed, oh, what now? What's wrong with the dress? Okay, well now, that's just indecent. What, were you not a little girl? What, uh, what is that supposed to mean? What are you, then? Okay, then. Let's move on. <sighs> Bless it. I, I lost my place again. Um, hold on, let's see here. Trans... Transgender... So, you're a man, then. You're a woman. But a transgender woman. So, you're not really a woman, then. Yes, yes, I can read, thank you, but I'm afraid you're just not what we're looking for. Um, <clears throat> can, can we get a replacement, please? Um... Thank you for stopping by. We're going in a, um, a different direction. Okay. Whew. American woman, beauty, blah, blah, blah. Oh. Ever since she was a little girl, doll in hand and dress blowing in the wind, she has dreamed about what it means to be a true woman. When she hit that special age, she was given a grand gift the gift of womanhood. Aunt Flo paid her a visit, and... <sighs> yes, is, is there a problem? Oh, yes, pardon me. That is a euphemism for menstruation. Let me rephrase. Uh, the grand gift, the gift of womanhood. Menstruation had... No? What is it, then? You mean you don't? But that's the threshold to womanhood. <sighs> Next. Okay, let's skip forward here to be a true woman. Ah, when she hit that special age, she was given a grand gift. The gift of womanhood. Aunt Flo paid her a visit, and she had become a woman. Her life had just begun. This little princess would soon meet a handsome and strong prince. Our young woman... <sighs> Go ahead. 
What about him? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm afraid I don't understand what that means. No, 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 I'm sorry, but that's not, that's not part of the American dream for a woman. Next. Her life had just begun. This little princess would soon meet a handsome and strong prince. Our young woman would one day marry this perfect man. She would raise a family, and he would support them. Oh, of course, I wouldn't expect anything less. What? You don't want a family, is that right? I see. What kind of woman doesn't want children? You're not an American woman at all. Next. Our young woman would one day marry this perfect man. She would raise a family, and he would support them. <laughs> of course. Yes, may I help you? Yes, what's wrong with a man supporting his family? Who else is going to do it? You? Ha! <laughs> okay, yeah. Next. No. No. I'm not racist, but... Next. No. No, certainly not. No. Will she work? Okay, let's start from the beginning. Behold, the perfect American woman. Isn't she a beauty? She is kind. She is polite. She is reserved. She is the epitome of womanhood. Ever since she was a little girl, doll in hand and dress blowing in the wind, she has dreamed about what it means to be a true woman. When she hit that special age, she was given a grand gift, the gift of womanhood. Aunt Flo paid her a visit, and she had become a woman. Her life had just begun. This little princess would soon meet a handsome and strong prince. Our young woman would one day marry this perfect man. She would raise a family, and he would support them. They would grow old together, watching their children be successful. Little Bobby would become an entrepreneur, and little Susie, she would one day find herself following in her mother's footsteps. She, too, would find herself a perfect husband, living out the perfect life of a perfect American woman. The End